We'll next hear from Danny Ray with Criterion Energy Partners. Danny was voted most likely to be labeled the strong silent type and also most likely to meet up and discuss business over a beer. Great, thanks, Matt. <clears throat> you can have clean, reliable, always on energy, offering the same environmental benefits as wind and solar without dependency on the weather. And there's an industry with hundreds of billions of dollars in technology and a workforce already developed and perfectly positioned to unlock this resource. Today, I will tell you how Criterion plans to deploy next generation geothermal energy. Our customers are sustainability directors, operations managers, and infrastructure engineers. They are motivated to reduce emissions and improve reliability of their high energy consuming facilities. These experts are responsible for critical infrastructure and large manufacturing, and their executives have set aggressive net zero goals to keep their brand image clean. Today, customers are unable to meet their sustainability goals and reliability needs. Reducing emissions has become a top priority. Grid reliability problems have increased operating costs on the order of millions of dollars, and these issues are only forecasted to get worse. Criterion geothermal systems are co-located with facilities to replace fossil fuels and costly grid dependency from behind the meter. The solution is designed to serve high energy consumers and offers both always on electricity on a microgrid, as well as direct heating and cooling like pipe steam or chilled water. It can even sell energy back to the grid. This solution puts the customer in control of their emissions and energy supply. The key is highly engineered wells and reservoirs below ground. Think horizontal oil and gas wells for geothermal. Each completed zone is designed to deliver the highest megawatt output per well for the lowest cost. Our industry leading design sets us apart from the competition. Criterion's goal is to deploy 1000 megawatts and eliminate 6 million tons of CO2 per year by 2040. That's equivalent to removing 1.2 million cars from the road every year. And because our systems are mostly underground, the land footprint is 10 times lower than other renewables. Reducing well costs and increasing output by cross-pollinating technology from oil and gas is the key to unlocking geothermal energy in new ways. Proven technology can be deployed today to deliver geothermal at a lower cost than wind and solar with storage and competitive with gas combined cycle. The story only improves with the cost of carbon. Our technology roadmap will take historical costs of $75 to $45 and will allow us to deploy geothermal energy in new places around the globe. This is accomplished by applying a proven strategy our team has executed many times before to maximize recovery and minimize well costs. It is a formula for geothermal energy at scale. De development projects can be financed off balance sheet minimizing our capital outlay for the customer. Our primary source of earnings will come from development fees and retained project equity, then operations, maintenance, and service contracts. Our team has completed initial screening on multiple sites and selected one location on the Texas Gulf Coast for our five megawatt pilot in 2022. Criterion is focused on distribution centers and chemical facilities as initial beachhead customers. Once a Criterion geothermal system is installed, Facilities are protected from blackouts and can even deliver energy back to the grid. Operating costs are low and don't vary with commodity price. Today, we are raising a seed round, forming strategic partnerships, and advancing our pilot. Over the next 12 months, we will expand our already strong portfolio of prospects, iterate on our designs, conduct feasibility studies, and execute our pilot. Our leadership team has a proven track record with Fortune 500 companies and is applying the same best-in-class execution from oil and gas to next-generation geothermal. Criterion has formed a powerful industry advisory team with expertise across the geothermal and oil and gas industries. The goal is to raise $3 million in funding to fast-track the deployment of Criterion geothermal systems. Won't you join us and be a part of the solution? Thank you. Please reach out, and we look forward to answering questions. Great talk, Danny. Question from John. You touched on the technology being differentiated from others. How so? What stands you out from other geothermal energy companies? So our team is, uh, has uh, spent a lot of time developing a technology roadmap to identify uh, the key uh, technologies in, in drilling, completion design, and reservoir management in order to bring the costs down from where it is today to where it needs to be to be competitive uh, in markets and in new new geographies. So uh, there's a lot of different technologies 
uh, that, that are required to do that. And our team has uh, experience deploying this strategy uh, in drilling thousands of wells, drilling and completing thousands of wells and, and executing this, this same plan in oil and gas. And, and we've, we've identified the roadmap to do that for geothermal. Joining Danny in the Q&A is Sean Marshall. Welcome, Sean. Next question. What geographical constraints are present for this geothermal technology? Which states are the targets for additional rollouts? So you can see on the on the screen here, we've got a heat map and, and effectively uh, shows the temperature gradient. There's there's other things that are required uh, that are favorable for geothermal energy. It's it's not just the resource, but also the off taker and the market uh, place that that kind of drives the the value proposition here. So uh, we've we've identified Texas as as a great location uh, for our first pilot. Uh, we're also working on on pilots in California, and we have existing leases in in the state of Utah uh, on the west coast. Uh, but as we as we bring the cost of geothermal energy down and improve the recoveries, um, you know the the flow rate and the temperature uh, are the two main parameters needed to to generate energy. So as we increase the flow rate with with our design and, and the deployment of our technology, we'll be able to to take this uh, solution to areas where the temperature gradient isn't as, as high and uh, where geothermal energy just hasn't been economical in the past. Question from Andrew. Are you planning on closed loop or open loop? What's proprietary to Criterion? So our, our design is, uh, you know, a, a modified uh, uh, EGS enhanced geothermal system, which effectively is, is uh, utilizing both a producer and an injector pair and uh, moving fluid through the reservoir system to extract the, the maximum amount of heat. So you know, one, one of the advantages of this design is that high heat, heat capacity can be extracted from the reservoir system, uh, existing uh, natural uh, systems that, that help support um, the, the, the energy flow in, into the wells can be, can be harnessed in a way that uh, a lot of closed loop systems uh, can't do. So that's, that's really what helps us deliver the highest output for the lowest cost. Along the same line of questioning, what IP, if any, do you own? So I mentioned, I mentioned the technology roadmap and there's uh, 20 or so technologies that, that we're highly focused on. Some of those we're developing internally. Uh, we, we do not have uh, patents currently, but uh, potentially we'll be, we'll be working towards those uh, in certain areas in the future. Uh, we're also working with strategic partners uh, in, in building an industry advisory team to develop technologies and deploy those technologies. Uh, and then we're doing a, a tremendous amount of research as well uh, on, on areas like supercritical CO2 and, and thermal energy storage um, and CO2 sequestration for in, with, with these systems uh, to take advantage of those opportunities as, as they become available in the future. Question from John Jeffers. What are the key risks and uncertainties associated with the technical performance of your solution? In other words, the ability to deliver the expected power for the investment made. Yeah, great question. So uh, the, the key really is in connecting the permeability pathways, uh, the conductivity, the connectivity of uh, between the two wells uh, is, is absolutely critical to delivering the energy that's needed. And that's really what our team is, has focused uh, our, on and, and where our expertise lies. So... Uh, you know, un understanding how to drill the wells, utilizing uh, directional drilling, multi-stage completions, uh, completing the well in a cost-effective way, but one that maximizes the recovery, is is a lot a lot harder to to do than uh, than it might seem. And so that's you know the completion design, the well design. That's that's really uh, where our team is is highly focused and and the key factor in in determining what that output is going to be and and what what the return on the capital is going to be. When you're able. Great. Thanks, Matt. Thank you all.